Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with The Legend of Korra Book 2 episode number 7 and 8 reaction. Alright, the previous two episodes. Um, first of all, they like, you know, reach Republic City and <clears throat> like, you know, Korra has this like, you know, plan of going to meet the president so like you know that he can, uh, she can ask the help from the you know like from um, Iroh, General Iroh and uh cannot take troops back to like you know her place and stop unalak and that was that like and there was this whole thing with varic as well varic is like okay let's do it in a different manner we make a movie and make other people like you know like support us this and that and then there was that like you know like attack that happened during the peaceful protest and uh marco tried to go capture them but was unable to and uh while at the same time like you know Korag goes and asks the president for help but he's like no and but then Korra like goes alone to uh, General Iroh for uh, to ask his help and Marco because obviously like you know he's a police officer he was forced to like you know like give the information about Korra you know going independently to General Iroh and like the president came in president's like no you'll be court marshaled if you like you know act, try to help Korra and Korra got mad you know he's like why did you betray me Marco they broke up and uh, yeah that was like a really bad situation like i don't blame either of them like you know marco had his position to uh you know defend his police officer he's a police officer first and foremost and cora obviously because she felt betrayed by him and because she trusted him all that stuff and uh then like you know then the next episode we see like it started escalating from there you know cora like you know gets uh uh, what can I say? Like you know, like uh, not Korra, sorry, um, Marco and um, what's her name? A Asami. You know, there's that new thing that starts up with them, where, um, oh my God, like, like here's the thing. Um, I really am not liking the way, like you know, Marco is just doing. I I've told this before. I'll not say much. But I'm really not happy about this because first of all, like you know, like that that whole thing is okay, fine. Like you know, they try to go and you know, go ask for the three triads. I think that was the name for help. And they see like they have been uh, backstabbed by them, like you know, like double crossed. So like, you know, they try to get out of that situation and come out unharmed. Uh, and that like they see like the Asami's warehouse has been all looted during that time and uh, you know like that um, asami kisses him and this and that i don't know what's going to happen after this will marco like start dating her again like this this is extremely <laughs> i don't know like it's, it's, it's very unusual and weird i i really don't like this like you know within like a span of one or two episodes like how he's just jumping from one person to another this is what i have a problem with but anyways and uh, like let him do what he wants to i guess and then like you know the big sh big uh plot twist i can say i don't know like i'm, I'm sure maybe most people actually suspected Varric because i but because i liked Varric so much i really did not suspect him that much but then we realized that Varric was behind the whole like you know stealing of asami stuff so that asami like you know he can come in and help asami become her like you know business partner and that's how i'm guessing she he's trying to control asami and get future industries for himself so it's probably something like that let's see what happens in this episode so yeah uh, without further ado let's get started this is episode number um seven of the legend of Korra, book two so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go oh and Korra has amnesia i forgot about that <laughs> she ended up stranded in a beach i think yeah some some people found her and she can't remember anything Boy, let's see. Hmm. Yep, there you go. Oh yeah, yeah. She she tries to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beginnings part one. Oh, this is like a part two. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, there's like a temple over here. Wait, who are these people? Who? 
Kuda, kuda zdravo? Ja. Oh. Okay. Whoa, what is this? What? Oh, Angus here. Oh, Roku is here. All right. Make sense? Yoshi. Wow. Return to the beginning. Fine, who is this Rava? Is that like another avatar or something? Oh, it's a female. One. Oh, he's the first avatar. Interesting. I wonder how this all started. Like, you know, how did... Two brothers. What? Wow, the everything's like still like you know this this way. Oh my god, what is oh, okay? That's a <laughs> ah. You know, it's like everything's like a still drawing, and he's the only one moving, and a few things. Oh boy, who are you? Oh, there's two brothers. Ha! <laughs> Eat some potato. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay, what place is this? Which nation? Oh, nice. We're going to have like a little story. <laughs> Yao. Wait, who? What? Like turning into a tree? What? Oh. Food seller. <laughs> Spirit wilds. Or maybe something happened to him with the spirits. Uh, so, so he probably came in contact with them. Damn. Bad truth. Oh. Okay. And here we go again. Hmm. 
Wow, I really like this type of like you know, like it's like you you, you drew and painted. Everything's like still, you know. Oh, what? Wait, what is this? Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, the, the line that we saw. Oh, is this how? Until you return. It's the same turtle that gave Ang. Wow, this is quite cool. Like we're getting like a story. Oh, this is how like you know fire bended they they fire bended bef before. Or maybe he's going to try to trick the turtle and get in with without like you know losing his power and then go to choose seller or something. Oh no. No no he's he's this is his plan. This is his plan. Yep, he's going to try to trick the turtle. Oh boy. Yeah. So was he able to trick the turtle? He was. Oh my god. Okay, he doesn't look like like he it seems like he like he's doing this because of necessity, you know, because he doesn't have enough food and everything. But okay, let's watch first. Yeah, yeah. And one. Oh, whoa. Oh boy, they're gonna get burned down. Uh. They all look the same, like sick. Like... Tall, taller, tallest. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh my god, I feel like the land turtle will be really angry. Like he, he's using firebending for this. Oh no. I don't think so, not like this. Yeah. So he's the first firebender or something, I'm guessing. Wait, he got his. Oh no. Oh no. No one, obviously. With no one else. Oh, his they knew. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Okay, there you go. Wow, interesting. No, obviously, no, he will because he has the uh, fire with him. It'll probably protect him, hopefully. Oh boy. Wow. Okay, never mind. This is a bit dangerous, yeah. Oh, 
Oh! Um, oh! Yeah, that's true. That, that would be a little bit. Oh! Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah. Wow, okay, yeah, this place is wild. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god, the grass is yo <laughs> this place is wild. Even the grass is trying to kill you. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Oh <laughs> yep. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Oh my god. That is nasty. Oh. Oh my god. Ah, uh, my whole body is tingling <laughs> after that scene. What the hell is this like an oasis or something? Like it's going to go there. Not oasis, sorry, mirage. It's going to go there and it's going to disappear. Whoa! Who the- who is this? Is this a kangaroo? No. Oh no. Yeah, he- <coughs> He's keeping an eye on him. <laughs> Wow! Whoa! Wow, this is a really interesting episode. I, I like this one. <laughs> this reminds me of um Spirited Away. I don't know. Was it Spirited Away? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, it reminds me of Spirited Away. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, smell. Ah. Um. Okay. True. He is like that. Um not he's talking about the inner Wait re Oh really? It's not the same one. Wait, so all series are on not lion turtles? <laughs> okay, that's it. That's a, um, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> wow, so like there's, there's like cities on top, only on top of lion turtles. Like otherwise, what, what happens? The cities don't, aren't able to. Wait, who? Yeah. What is this? Like the. Oh no! Is that guy? Oh boy. Yep. Oh no, you you're on fire, dude. You're on fire. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no, don't burn down the forest. Oh my god. Oh yeah, they can also use it because they're outside. <laughs> he knows it. 
He knows. These things, throw them at them. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! It just carried him off. What the hell? These things are strong. Oh boy. Oh! Whoa! Wow! Interesting. Oh my god, he became. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he... Oh. <laughs> because he, he, he tried to protect, yeah. Oh, it's a cat deer, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Stinky. Um, all right. Well. Yep. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> then they, they came to attack him. Oh. Okay, so he becomes like the proper firebender, first firebender. <laughs> Bring him tea. Oh no, they're going to try to trick the lion turtle. But, oh my god. Like, the lantern can give everyone... I don't know. No, he is giving everyone. Interesting. I did not expect that. Mula. Okay. <laughs> wow okay this is a really good episode i like this episode so much Oh, what's happening? Oh no. Okay. Whoa, it's like the yin and the yang, isn't it? Like when they were like, you know, kind of fighting together. No fighting. My God. Whoa. 
break free. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I, I don't know, like, don't make rash decisions. Like, it might be like she's like, you know, restraining him from her for a reason or something. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I don't know. I feel like he made a mistake here. Yeah, I think something. Yeah. Oh, Rav. Oh, this is Rava. Batu. There you go. Rava and Vatu. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah, you should listen to both sides of the stories first, you know? Oh, great. Wow, okay. That's the end. You know what? I was like sick and tired of the bakering that was going on on for like the past couple of episodes. This episode is such a like you know breath of fresh air. I'm really glad an episode like this you know happened. And this is the first part. I'm guessing the next episode will also like continue from there. You know, this is this was such a such a great episode. I really enjoyed this. Like you know like I was just tired of that whole drama. Like you know like going on like my God like like Marco, Sami, Cora like and Cora being like a you know like like a rebellious teen and we look up to no good and everyone like you know it's like plotting something behind everyone's back i was like tired of that like that that oh boy i'm really glad that this episode is here just to what can i say like you know stop that whole thing and l let us breathe for a second like wow and i'm pretty sure after the, the next episode like from episode like this is episode seven uh, uh after from episode 9 again we're going to go back to that again like you know the drama and everything but i'm glad we're like getting like two episodes of a little bit of respite and yeah this was a very good change of pace oh boy i really love this episode you know this this was probably one of the best episodes of this season not probably definitely because all these episodes have been like a pure, pure chaos but yeah okay here in this episode um, we see like uh, Cora has been taken by some people and they like you know there's like that old lady she says like uh, the dark energy has gone inside her we need to like you know put her in the water and like you know like something about Rava she needs to find Rava or something yeah and now inside the water like you know she sees like all the past avatars and the avatars tell her that you need to get back to, like you know see a connection like you know find the connection between you and the other avatars otherwise it'll go away and that's where we meet the first avatar that whose name is um one and okay so here um here the flat not a flashback but the story starts of one now as i'm really like you know I, I, like the whole the way they kind of narrated this was pretty nice like you know like the animation not the animation but the style they did it you know everything was like a still picture while only the characters involved were only moving you know and like there was no what do you call it like camera movement like usually what happens in an animation like you know like for example a character is moving the camera also moves with the character there's like different camera angles this that but this felt like only two characters were moving in a picture like the camera was still there was like this scenery or this like you know background picture 
nothing was moving only the specific character and a few other characters who are involved are only moving and fighting or whatever and i really liked that you know that's like an i don't know if there's like a name for this style of like you know animation but that was kind of an interesting like you know thing and um <clears throat> not only that the story in itself is pretty interesting like this is like the origin of an avatar and like a lot of interesting thing we got to know here is number one um there's like cities like this i'm guessing and um like there's like lion turtles on top of which the cities are and there i'm guessing like as they said only when there's lion turtles are there cities so i wonder like you know like what happens if you make a try to construct a city of like you know when where there's no lion turtles like it's, something bad happens or what happens uh, like uh, that's like an like you know that's a question and um like another interesting thing is i thought like there's like only one lion turtle that's why when i saw the lion turtle i was like oh this is the same one that gave ang the power but no probably not it's maybe it's a different one um so <clears throat> this lion turtle uh like you know he, he like you know these lion turtles they have the power of the elements within them i'm guessing and whenever people went outside they gave them because the lion turtle gave them the power and they're supposed to when they come back they're supposed to give it back to him and uh, okay i think i understand why on, only on top of lion turtles can a city be made most probably because the outside world is like you know like filled of filled with spirits and everything like we saw when uh, you know like when they went out like you know even the grass was trying to kill them <laughs> that's basically it that's why most probably it's inhabitable because like you know spirits are everywhere that's why most probably on top of a lion turtle is like a safe spot where cities can be made something like that i'm guessing and okay here we made the family of one and we see like he is kind of trying to like you know um how would you call it actually like not not stealing yeah stealing you can say it not stealing like you know things from the chu brothers because again like, they don't have enough food and the chu brothers are hoarding everything from them so this, basically this is like a you thing you know like where like the rich people just hoard everything while the poor people they don't get anything that's probably like a setting here and i'm pretty sure like you know the the, the poor people are being exploited here even if they like have some work or something maybe they're being exploited something like that most probably but yeah we see that and we see like the 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 guy with who became like a tree he says like oh like uh outside like you know this place um you should definitely know not go into the spirit like you know that forest because you're going to become like me like you know when you come contact with the spirit or something and uh like here from here we can see like one is a pretty kind-hearted soul we can see like how like you know even when there's nothing not much enough for him he is giving everything like most of the his food to like you know animals and everything but at the same time there is a part of him who like you know only what can i say like who's thinking like oh we can uh you know use the fire bending and like you know kind of trick the lion turtle and use that to <clears throat> attack the choose and get everything for us like i think that that's like a negative part of about him you know like obviously like you know um uh what can i say he's doing this for necessity but i feel like you know the way he did not but i guess it worked out by the end of it like you know i'm i'm i was going to say like you know in the way he did not tell the lion turtle that oh i'm using like you know not by not telling him by tricking him and using that to attack someone i think that was a bit little bit of a wrong thing that he did but i the lion turtle forgave him by the end of it and not forgave him but gave him a punishment that oh go to the forest and you may keep your fire bending because obviously otherwise he won't be able to survive so i guess he got his punishment as soon as he like you know did that but yeah nothing you can do about it do about it as i said I, i'm pretty sure this place is probably exploiting the poor people and how you know like the two brothers are probably like hoarding everything for themselves and um yeah so like that thing happens you know he first try, like you know makes like a plan of going out getting the power you know like fire bending and then he's in the middle of the road he's like oh i'm scared goes back somehow i don't know how he bypassed that whole situation and tricked the lion turtle got in and used his newfound power to uh, at night to go and attack the two brothers to get his stuff back 
now we do see like when they were fighting you know by the end he hesitated a little bit when you know like his mask fell down and he had like the decisive moment to attack the person the guy he stopped and this this shows how like you know like he he like, you know in his inside he is a good person he definitely won't attack or actively harm someone because fire like you know using fire to attack someone is like you know he's definitely going to get some uh like you know burns and everything and and it might be life-threatening so he stopped there and he got captured and he like you know like got taken in front of the lion turtle and punished everyone's like yeah go to the like you know forest and you know, never come back lion turtle was like all right you keep your fire bending at least you need to save yourself and he goes into the like you know the thing forest and my god like the, everyone's trying to kill him you know like there's like weird fruits which are actually insects the grass is even trying to kill you you know everything like you know, it's like there's like all the spirits that's just wandering around attacking him and he like you know he did a pretty good job of surviving i'm guessing up until that time and then he comes across i don't know what that is is that like a kangaroo or something i don't know you know, a, a, a weird creature who looking you know, behind who there's like an oasis he tries to get in and the creature's like nope you're banned here no humans are allowed um, go away and he tries to threaten him with fire but the spirit is like nah i have instant transmission and just teleports behind his back <laughs> throws him out and interesting thing here we see is like this so this is like a little i guess a little recreation center a little bath where all different spirits come in and just like you know have a little soak and like this scene really reminded me of spirited away if you i'm pretty sure like most of you have seen spirited away you know the ghibli movie where like you know there's that like you know bridge where all the spirits were like you know lit, like you know coming one after the other and in drives just coming inside and it definitely like you know reminded me of that scene and you know how like you know in the movie as well as far as i can remember the girl also tries to do that like you know disguise as like a spirit and get in i think i don't remember it properly something like that happened most probably um uh so he like you know um what's his name one yeah one gets in tries to get in like that <laughs> and he's fine found out quite easily because he smells as a human obviously um he he's thrown out again now he finds out a cat deer i think that was <laughs> my god the, the, the animals really fascinate me you know in this show a uh, cat deer who's been caught and those guys actually caught caught him and he uses his firebending and his newfound knowledge to protect them uh, protect the uh, cat deer while by the end of it he was almost getting captured but you know like uh the the the, the guy the, the 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 spirit the kangaroo spirit or whatever he comes and he helps him out and obviously the reason behind that was pretty obvious like, you know he helped the cat deer so the spirit was impressed he was like i've never seen a human do this before you know like this is like something someone does selflessly like he had nothing no nothing in on that like if you say like you know like, you can say that he could have like you know gained like a, a dinner he could if he tried to like you know like uh, take it and kill it and uh, you know they take it for himself the cat deer he could have gotten a dinner for himself but not even doing that you know he selflessly tried to protect it that's something like a human at least they've never seen a human do before so he was impressed and he was like that's why i'm like you know i helped you out and one is like yeah i'm also tired of humans like let me stay here and at first the spirit was a little hesitant he's like this has never happened before then he's like all right fine you know i'll call you stinky you can live here <laughs> oh boy and he just stays here like you know i'm, I'm guessing he stays with the spirits kind of like you know hones his firebending uh, day after day and he becomes like one of the masters of firebending very easily he's able to control it unlike all the other people who like you know who is unable to use it like that like as they said like you know one uses firebending like it's like an extension of his body that's how he uses firebending and that's impressive and a lot of people got like you know motivated by this and here i had a little hesitation i thought 
if like you know all of them were like oh we're going to go out and live outside and like you know like learn firebending like um uh one did so i was a little hesitant i was thinking like how was the land turtle going to react to surprisingly the land turtle allowed them to do that I was like, wow, I was not expecting that. I thought maybe like, you know, the lion turtle would say something like, oh, you're so many of you, like, and I cannot allow it or something like that. But no, he just gave everyone like, you know, the power. And um, like, I'm guessing like the lion turtle is probably like a neutral, uh, like in a neutral position. Like uh, whenever people, I'm guessing like, you know, people with good intentions, if they come to him and ask them for help, he's going to help them just like he did with Aang. When Aang asked, uh, the lion turtle for help and some more insight on the whole situation with um, Ozai, you know, like if he's supposed to kill him or not, you know, the lion turtle was like, you know, gave him wisdom at that moment and what to do, just showed him a path, you know, which he never got before. Like, he, like Aang even like, you know, tried to consult the previous avatars, Roku, you know, Kyoshi and all of them, all of them had different outlook on the situation roku said to kill i think like he had to kill uh, like most of them said to kill uh, ozai and like you know like some of them told him to decide each had like their own way of thinking but no one was able to help ang in that manner while the lion turtle helped him showed him a path in a way like he did not show him a path he just gave him the way to pave his own path and i'm guessing it's doing the similar thing to these people as well he's just giving him the them the power and obviously I'm pretty sure a few people among these people are probably going to die in the process of trying to firebend, you know, maybe get killed by the spirits. A few of them may like, you know, turn out to be good firebenders while a few of them might try to like use this for evil purpose. You know, I'm sure this will happen within the few people who went out of the village or the city. This is going to happen. Few people are definitely going to die. People, few people will turn out to be good. Few people will turn out to be evil and they'll be using it for evil purposes. But the lion turtle gave everyone, you know, the power indiscriminately, you know, without discriminating between them. Because he, I'm guessing he is in that position. He's like in the neutral position. He's, you know, here to help everyone. And, you know, like he's here to provide. What the people will do with it, it's on them, not on him. He's going to, like, you know, show them the path. And whichever path the humans will take, will take. I'm, I'm, I'm interpreting it in, in this manner. No, that's why I'm guessing the lion turtle gave everyone the power and they went out and I'm pretty sure a few of them will probably use this for evil things. I'm pretty sure because that's humans basically. When the, where there's good people, there's definitely bad people. And okay, and then uh, one is like, yeah, I've like, you know, I, I want to see the different lion turtle cities. Uh, you know, he takes his um, ride. What, what's his name? Mula? But where is it? Uh, Mula, yeah, Mula, right. So he takes him uh, and like you know, the, the cat deer he saved and he's like, I'm going to go and explore the world. And I'm guessing Mula will probably become uh, like, uh, the f like, you know, the, the, the friend, like just like all Avatar has one. Uh, uh, Aang had Appa, um, uh, uh, Korra, Korra has Naga. I'm guessing it's like similar to that. Like, you know, he, he's like his traveling companion or friend. So, <clears throat> yeah, like they, like, you know, they set out for, on a journey, goes to different places here and there. And then they, he, like, you know, comes upon a scene where two spirits are fighting. One is like an evil spirit and one is like the good spirit. The good spirit is called Rava and the bad spirit is called Vatu. And they were fighting and as always like you know the bad spirit does he tries to like you know ask sent like you know uh, act sentimentally and in a more emotional way he's like oh save me it's like tormenting me for a thousand years ten thousand years and like since like you know like um one is definitely a good person he's like oh that's sad so let's help him out and that's why you know you you try to listen to both sides of the story don't take a decision while only hearing a partial story there's definitely like you know like you should always take a decision after seeing both sides of a coin and like the, the good spirit like you know rava was trying to tell him like no but he did not like you know give him her the chance he just severed the bond and the like, you know vatu was like ah thanks dude you helped me out <laughs> bye bye and just went away <laughs> 
Rava is like, what have you done, human? Now everything's going to go into chaos. And uh, like one is feeling like, you know, like you're responsible for this. And uh, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I'm pretty sure he's probably going to try to uh, rectify his mistakes after this. Maybe go and try to find um, Batu. Maybe that's what he's going to do and try to stop him. So yeah let's wait for it okay um that was episode number seven so let's get started with episode number eight so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here think it whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go oh boy i'm glad i'm we are getting this story this backstory this history filled thing yeah, because I was just sick and tired of seeing Korra just, you know, rebelling against everyone and Marco up to no good again. <laughs> more drama, more stuff. Oh, beginnings part two. There you go. I wonder what Korra will accomplish after seeing all these history. Okay. All right. There you go. Damn. Hmm. Like it looks like a kite, doesn't it? Like you know the spirits, you know the kites that they fly. What the? Oh, air nomads. Oh, maybe they're from the another. Yeah, yeah, another. Oh, interesting. So there's like four of them, I'm guessing. Four lion turtles. There was like that fire nation and this is like the air. Wow. Okay, this is really interesting. Oh my God. Ooh. <laughs> oh no look at that <laughs> there you go another lion turtle city and this is the yeah air air city or whatever it's flying oh my god that's cool so there's like a water bending city like this and an earth bending <laughs> you stay here yep wow oh my god it's going to crash in oh no no oh look at this wow it's filled with nature Oh, they live alongside the spirits? Interesting. Maybe they have a different language. Oh no, there's a sin. Oh, they have like different tattoos. Whoa! What's happening? Why are they becoming? Oh, because Vatu ran away. Oh my God. Yeah, because of Vatu, this is what happens.
。哦。OK， yeah， there you go。Okay, don't burn this place. Okay, there you go. He's controlling his fire. Damn, there's a lot of them. Oh, Rafa's here, and Batu is running away. Damn. Wait, Rava seems a little smaller. L. Um. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay, I think this is somehow connected to the whole thing that's happening in Korra. With Korra. Yeah, he's getting, she's getting smaller. Oh, this is how he becomes an avatar by, oh my god. Wow. That's why the avatar has all the elements. That's interesting. Oh my god. This, these two episodes are really good. Oh. Okay, okay. Because you need... You need to stop this. Yeah. Hmm. Balance. There you go. That's why you know, like avatars always, you know, like. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh, so he might die or something. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Hmm. Exactly. True. Yeah, she. He will still be there. Oh. Oh. So one will be dominant over the other. No. But, yeah, but up until then, everything will be, oh, there you go. And then she'll come back as like, okay. Yep. All right. Go to all the lion turtles to get all the elements. Hmm. Oh, the earth turtle.
There you go. Wow. Wow, this is really interesting. Monk. Okay. Oh. What? Oh, they're f oh my god, yeah. cutting trees and do what the okay calm down yeah, it's a good spirit oh these are those people oh it's gone gone big oh he there you go as i was saying you know like a lot of people will die Hmm, exactly. Wait. What? Oh. Yeah, oh my god. Great. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh no, it's like those spirits that they were. Oh no. Balance, guys. Oh my god. Either. Okay, they won't listen to him. What the? What's happening? Is this Vatu again or something? Up, oh, yep, it's Vatu. Oh no! Wow! My God! Oh. Oh, is he, is he going to be in the other avatar form or something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so this is how you get into the avatar state. Oh my god. Oh my god, where's Va Rava? Look at there, there she is. Oh my god. Oh, oh this is a spirit portal.
Yeah. Okay, here we are. Oh boy. Southern border. Oh, this place. So, like, um, one is going to fight instead of Rava here, I'm guessing. Oh, boy. Oh, there he is. Um. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Ten thousand. Oh my god, Susan. Oh, wow, okay. Too to hate me to give me breath. Wow. Yep, Avatar State. Oh. Whoa. Okay, he's at least hitting him, I'm guess. I guess. Yes. But still it's not enough. Oh god. Alright, he is hurting it, I, I feel like. Oh no, no, no. Oh boy. What? Oh my god. What? Wait, what's happening? What? Wait, what happened then? I don't understand. Oh boy. Okay, well. Wait, I don't understand what happened over there. Like. Oh! Did 
Damn. Is he going to seal it again or something? Yeah, there you go. There you go, it's sealed. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, Cora opened the portal, didn't she? So she was not supposed to do that. Oh my god, Cora opened the portal. Oh, he'll be the br Okay, so that's why the avatar is the bridge. He's the one who keeps the balance. Yeah. So wait, how... Huh. Light spirit. Wow, that was a really good story. One, okay, yeah, people. People will fight against each other. Yeah. So wait, oh. Ra was within every avatar. I'm guessing. Is that what it is? Like, that's why they're telling Korra to find Rava? Like, Rava's within her. Okay, the next avatar is born and this continues. So, was she able to find Rava now? There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. Weeks away. Okay. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's a, one heart is broken. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, wow. Amazing. I I love these two episodes. This this will probably be my most favorite episode in season two. Like season two started in a very rocky way. I really did not like it. And as it was going on and on, I I really felt extremely like you know like not what can i say like not as excited to see but these two episodes really like you know like really brought me back to like you know like what can i say like it was amazing i love these two episodes wow that that was a good one good story okay um so this episode here we get the second part of the backstory or flashback or history of the origin of avatar and uh, it was interesting to learn everything and like you know everything kind of falls into place as we got to see like so i'm guessing as rava said by the end like um we will for always, always be together in all of our lives so La rava is the reason why the avatars are able to get into the avatar state i'm guessing i think so like that's how i interpret it i might be wrong though so for that like, you know, to happen they need to first master all the elements and like you know like i think that's how it goes and everything and like you know become the avatar the uh the person who protects the balance between the two worlds and becomes the bridge so the avatar is like 
as this as they said the bridge between the two realms the spirit realm and the human realm and each like you know the spirits are supposed to live in the spirit realm the humans are supposed to live in the human realm the spirit the portals are supposed to be closed and the avatar is supposed to be the bridge between them hmm. okay so this episode we get to see um how uh, Wan and Ra uh, Rava you know they like talk about the whole situation Rava's like you uh, you know like you unleashed by Vatu in this world now he is going to like you know turn everyone like you know into uh, all the spirits into evil spirits and during the harmonic convergence you know he's going to have like an overwhelming advantage and he'll destroy everything so and obviously like you know Rava was angry he she was like yeah I don't have any faith in any humans this and that and <clears throat> Here we see uh, um, one meets some air nomads. Now, like the, here's where it struck me. So this is how it's going. Like there are like four turtles. Each turtle gives like each element as like a power whenever the people go out. So here the air nomads are given power by I'm guessing the air sea uh, lion, turtle lion or whatever, lion turtle. Sorry, <laughs> and. <clears throat> yeah now i i loved the air lion turtles like you know the whole thing it was actually flying in the sky <laughs> that was interesting like uh you know like like a floating city and uh rava not rava sorry one went in there and started talking with every people and we can see like here like the people are actually living together with the spirits which is a little bit different from the fire nation uh, i'm calling it the fire nation you know if we're to the what the fire nation in we what we saw in the fire nation everyone i think were separated from the spirits yeah but here the air nomads are living together with the spirits and everything and he comes to the air nomads and he's like oh hello there like you know i'm also a person who lived together with spirits and the air nomads were pretty friendly they were like oh that's nice to be here like come sit with us but vatu comes in and turns every like you know spirit into like an evil like you know thing and like, you know, they, they start, start fighting and Rava comes, kind of stops Vatu for a moment there. And Vatu's like, all right, fine, I'll go away. We'll fight in the spirit convergence. Uh, no, not spirit convergence, harmony convergence. And that day. And that's when I'll look at Vitu forever. And here's where Rava and his name, um, Juan, they come into like a mutual agreement. He is like, all right, I'm going to like, you know, try to like, I have a plan to stop um, Vatu. I'm going to get all the powers from uh, all the spill uh, uh, line turtles. And then, you know, like we are going to fight and we're, I'm going to stop Vatu. And they need to master it. So what basically happened here is like the line turtles gave their power, the elemental power to Rava for safekeeping and um, so she is supposed to safekeep them uh, unless and until you know the avatar learns of all the elements uh, properly uh, until they see they can master him. it I think that's what happened yeah like so she he was supposed to master the fire bending first you know and then I'm guessing he got the air bending let me check that part here there you go. No human has ever held two elements at the same time. He's like, I'm not like other humans. I can learn to do it. Hmm, perhaps. Um, but to do so, Rava must hold the power for you until you master it. Oh, no, no. I've, I'm mistaken a little bit. So Rava will hold the power and he's supposed to master it little by little. And when he completely masters it, Rava will give the power to him. I think that's what's, yeah, how it is supposed to be now okay and I'm, i guess that's the reason why whenever like you know uh, Av ang went into the avatar state he was able to use all the elements because i guess rava is the one who was you know uh, triggering that switch of going into the avatar state and since rava held all the elemental powers uh, she was able to help ang out and when she he was in the avatar state he was able to use all the elements i think that's the reason why 
maybe okay and so here we start like you know like the training and she like you know we see Rava telling uh Fatu no, not Fatu uh one that yeah I will go like you know through you and like you know when when I go through you the, the the elemental power will pass on to you now it's interesting to see this like you know I feel like I don't know like maybe it's just a coincidence um his name is Juan which kind of coincides with one wasn't it it doesn't it like you know he's the first avatar one and one and <laughs> something like that I don't know uh, yeah but anyways um okay so yeah he starts training he starts properly training goes through the different lion turtles you know, the earth the water one and all the lion turtles like you know like give them their elemental ability he starts training and everything and then one day he ran runs across his uh, village at the, like you know his uh, his nation's villages the fire nation i'm guessing and like this is what i was just talking about in the previous episode there will be people who are going to use this uh in a bad way these people they are like oh you taught us you know how to use this and like that's why we're doing it like this that's why we are trying to survive here and that's why like you know, they're attacking the spirits and everything like this is the thing like you know from with the no power of knowledge comes also the disadvantage of using it and like you know the harm that it does for example like you know um like like they're, they're basically they learned firebending now they're using that to burn down the trees destroy the spirits and everything and like you know survive it's helping them survive definitely but at the same time they're using it to actively harm the environment and the spirits and they they don't feel sad about that obviously and um like and, and obviously not on, they're not the only one to blame as well the spirits as well they are like oh like no humans are supposed to come come here they they even killed humans and the humans are like oh you killed our friends that's why we're going to kill you this and that like you know everyone has like their own thing own problem and this uh since they were like you know like divided between the whole thing like you know the spirits kept to the spirits the humans kept to the humans and they never interacted each has like a deep dislike for each other and now since both of them has powers both of them are using that to attack each other like the spirits already had powers but since the humans got powers they are like yeah now we're going to attack and de and destroy them we, we are like even 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 if you have to like you know, burn the whole forest down we'll do it and get these people like you know spirits out of here and this is how like you know like disturbance starts the balance is falling apart um one is like stop this thing you know like like i don't want this to go on you know like we are supposed to live in harmony and in balance and the, the the people are like oh you taught us this you know seeing you we taught we got learned all of this so now we are going to use it and the spirits are like not everyone are like you one these people are bad you know so we are going to fight and Vatu is like haha my time to shine he comes in and he turns all the spirits into um you know like this evil spirits and like even like you know, sprinkling more salt into the the wound of the whole situation and uh, oh boy yeah like <sighs> then here's the i think here's the first time I, that not the first time or is it the first first time yeah this is the first time that he uses all the elements all at the same time uh rava gets into uh, one and he he's able to control all the spirits all the elements not spirits but all the elements and he gets into the avatar state so this is the first time the avatar state was used and rava is the one who triggers it i'm guessing like the, she's like the switch and yeah something like that uh, if i'm wrong correct me you know because this is how i am interpreting this situation i'm guessing rava is like the switch to this whole avatar state you know she's with all the avatars and she can like you know that's why the avatars have the capability of going into the avatar state and uh, yeah and then when she he wakes up he sees like you know all his all the all his people has died they like you know the spirits has destroyed them vatu's like haha like you know this is what you get and um, <laughs> vatu's like 
not Rava, sorry. Did I say Rava? Sorry, if I said Rava. Vatu. Vatu is like, haha, this is what you get. And we're going to fight in the harmonic convergence or something. Uh, yeah. And. <clears throat> okay, so then the time has come. Yes, like, you know, like, Rava has become this small. He's like in, inside the, the thing. And the fight starts now. They go into the spirit realm. And this is where it strikes, strikes me that uh, the spirit, no, not here, but later on. Okay, I'll talk about it later. Um, okay, so they start, start fighting and like, you know, like she, he, uh, one is like, we can't win like this. We need to go into the, the, the state. You need to come inside me. We need to merge. And he is able to control it a little bit more properly. But still, he isn't able to defeat uh, Vatu. Okay, now here's the thing. I don't understand what the hell happened here. Vatu says, like, the harmonic convergence is about to begin. The era of Rava is over. Now, this is like, this shows like these type of, oh, the, those are planets, I'm guessing. Oh, so the harmonic convergence is when all the planets kind of line up, I'm guessing. Interesting. Like, I can see, like, you know, Saturn, Jupiter over there as well. Uh, so... I think they like kind of line up and this is like the two things that were coming out you know like i'm guessing the north pole and the south pole you know, they kind of converge together and this like it kind of merges together okay here's what i don't understand what happens here like one puts his hand inside that thing and like you know and, and rava says that we have merged together forever or something i think so like let me know what happened here i really don't understand what happened here like how was he able to get his power like that like Vatu was pretty happy about this situation. He was like, ah, I'm going to win. But what happened here? That suddenly the whole thing turned around. Yeah, like Rava says we are bonded forever. And then like, you know, the, the huge fight starts happening and he just starts dominating the whole thing. One, he seals Vatu and puts him into the tree. That's, that's the tree, isn't it? And seals him. And here's where he like, you know, makes the rules. He says, I will close the portal so no human will be able to physically enter the spirit world and release you. And he seals both the portals, I'm guessing. One is the North Pole and one is the South Pole, I'm guessing. Or, or no, wait, or is this like the, okay, let me know another thing. Those, there's like two portals. Are those portals like one for the North Pole, one for the South Pole? Or is it like one of the portals is where you get into the human world and another portal is where you get into the spirit world i think it's something like that i might be wrong though correct me like this is another question i'm having it might be either of it it's either those two portals one is the south portal or one is the north portal or one portal is for entering the human world you know like one door you know that door you open you can get into the human world this is like the intermediary position you know while the other portal is the entering into the spirit world. So you enter from the human world into this part, move to the other door and get into the spirit world. Is that what it is? I think, you know what? I think that's probably it. I was up until now, I was calling it the North portal and the South portal. I was wrong, I think. It's most probably that like one of the portal is to enter the spirit world. Another portal is to go into the human world or something like that. So yeah, anyways, if you have any idea, let me know. But anyways, he seals them and he says like no humans are supposed to get in here and physically enter here. And he says like the spirits must stop fighting with the humans and return to their home in the spirit world. I will teach men to respect the spirits so the balance will be maintained. And this is the portal that Korra actually opened, I think, in the previous episodes. Like uh, from, from what Unalak said, like, oh, you're supposed to, like, you know. Yeah, he, he said, didn't he? Like, you know, you're supposed to open the portal or something. Yeah, and that's what she did. So, because I'm guessing she was not supposed to do that. I'm, I don't know. 
But anyways. And he says like I will be the bridge of the two worlds. And the sea turtles, uh, not sea turtles, the land turtles were like our time of protecting mankind is over. We, you know, are going to go back to sleep or something. You people, it's on you now. And no spirits will come here. So you can make cities wherever you want to. And, you know, live wherever you like to. And we will no longer give humans the power of the elements. So... So wait, I'm I'm guessing like um how the like you know how people become benders is like all these people, all of them have like the power of the elements with them now. And you know, as they had children and in the future generations, you know, some of them like you know genetically became benders. Is that how it goes? Genetically became benders because we saw like you know, even Ang's one of Ang's child, Boomy, is not a bender. So it, I'm guessing it's, it's kind of like a chance of happening like you know if your father or mother are like benders you might become a bender or you might not. Is that what it is? I think so. Because the land turtle said that I won't give powers anymore. So he, he's not introducing power to people. Uh, this is happening through generations after generation because you know I'm guessing their ancestors were benders that's why they're also benders. I think this is how like so many things we got to know here and there's a lot of questions that got answered about the origin like up until now we were like oh this is normal you know but there's a story behind that like you know how people became benders and this and that how it started interesting to see the history of everything and in the end we see like you know rava not rava one is like you know fighting a war or something he's like i failed to bring bring peace like you know humans whenever there's power they will always strike there will be always this group of people who will try to use it for evil stuff and this is what happened like you know power like you know breeds hatred and you know uh, these type of things separation and people you know cannot cannot control that so yeah and rava's like don't worry we will forever be bonded together you know our ancestors our, our not ancestor our successors and everyone you know all the avatars you know i will always be there with you with all your previous like you know future lives so yeah now another interesting thing we got to see here is like the the way they explain the whole situation where rava says that like it won't be that i or vatu is going to be destroyed forever we will be there because where there's light there is darkness light needs darkness darkness needs light you know, to cast a shadow you need a light you know and if there's only light there like you know it's impossible so all that stuff she, as she says that's why she's like everyone like you know even if i get destroyed in this battle i will be there but it will take ten thousand years for me to come back again so up until that time vatu will be like the dominant force so it will be like a very um you know like a like an evil like you know he'll do his evil things and the the whole world will be like you know uh, casted in an evil shadow he'll control everything up until ten thousand years when rava will rise again and after that maybe she will again fight for the like you know for for the humans and to protect them to protect like you know to make this world a brighter place again and vice versa as well since if if rava wins this you know vatu will stop like you know doing whatever he's doing for 10,000 years. After 10,000 years, he's, he's going to come back again. And then again, the battle will begin. I'm guessing this time is probably like, you know, something like that. Like 10,000 years have passed in the real world or something. And that's why Korra needs to see this. And she needs to fight again, you know. Because in the end, like, you know, the, the old woman says, like, the harmonic convergence is going to start in, like, how many days? Did she say? Weeks. Only weeks, well, like, you know, ahead. So yeah, so this is 10,000 years later. So the thing that we were seeing here was 10,000 years ago. Now that 10,000 years have passed, probably Vatu is going to rise again. And she needs to stop that. Just like all the avatars did. Not all the avatars, but one did. Okay, that's how, how it happened. So yeah, basically that was it. So if, like, you know, if, if actually Vatu won that battle, you know, uh, this would be the time for Rava to rise because you know Rava will be like you know kind of 
uh, sleeping or something. And as she said, like, you know, she would wake up again after 10,000 years if I somehow get defeated. It, that would have happened. But since Vatu was the one who was sealed, he's going to rise up again. And Rava is like forever connected with the Avatar now. And all the Avatars, you know, like in the future, uh, like, you know, uh, generations as well, they are going to be connected to Rava forever. And Rava is going to help them uh, keep the balance of the human world. And for, you know, the Avatar to be the bridge. Yeah, so I'm guessing when the Avatar dies, you know, like Rava kind of goes away. As we saw, like, you know, like kind of like, she disappeared. And then like there's like a child crying, which was, I'm guessing, the next Avatar who was born. And Rava, I'm guessing, just gets inside the ch human child or something like that, you know. Yeah, I guess that's how it goes. All right. Wow. What, what an interesting episode. This, this is probably one of the best episodes of this season. Yeah. Oh boy. And from the next episode, I'm guessing all the drama will start again. Like these two episodes were fantastic. I just love this two episode. So yeah, that was it. That was these two episodes. Fantastic. You know, like I, I'm, I'm really glad. Yeah, there is an episode like this, which actually tells us about the origin and the history of the avatars. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This is my reaction to The Legend of Korra, book two, episode number seven and eight. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. So yeah, that was it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of The Legend of Korra. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.